Welcome to the four elements of music engagement in aged care. In this mini course we will explore what I deem to be the most important elements when developing a music and movement program in aged care. Whether you want to start a general music program or a drumming program, these four elements will give you a great foundation on which music to choose, how to get the most out of your chosen music and how to extend on music activities. The BEDA program is focused on using the four key elements of memories, socialisation, conversation and familiarity to engage and promote well-being using music and movement. Each of these elements is using and complementing the other three elements. Using music which is familiar can evoke memories which in turn can lead to conversation and sharing which is socialisation. To further enhance this experience we make this a group activity with simple instruments of bucket drum, shakers and scarves so this becomes an holistic experience physically, socially, emotionally and cognitively. Thanks for joining this course. Our first element is memories. Choosing music which is personal to the participant is important when engaging with their memories and remember we are only looking for good memories. Songs which evoke negative memories must be avoided for a music and movement session. Music from their late teen years to early 20s are the best to focus on as this was the time they had the most freedom to choose their own style. They could choose which radio station or television program they wanted to watch and which dance hall they wanted to visit based on the music likes and dislikes. With the freedom of owning and driving a car, working and not being at school, more time was spent with friends and making memories which intertwines with the music they were listening to. These are the memories we want to unlock and use. Using the worksheet provided, find the hidden music memories by talking to the participant and their family about which music might have been personal to them. Ask about specific occasions where music may have been present, such as songs they would listen to in the car, songs they would dance to, music at family gatherings, Christmas songs, particular artists, nursery rhymes the participant knows and shares with younger family members, or their wedding song. When you find a couple of songs, research the artist and the year they were released. Do an internet search for words like top 10 songs of 1964 and use this information to experiment with to see if they recognise them. Be sure to play them the song, don't simply ask if they know it by name. With this information you can make a playlist that is personal and that they are familiar with. Remember not every song the participant knows will have a memory, but if it does, write the memory down as this can be used to further enhance the experience. Be aware that not all memories are good memories, so the song choices of one participant may not be happy for another, so you will need to adjust your playlist to reflect this. When running a session, use the participant information to introduce the song. Either be specific in saying who the song is related to, or be general and say that this song was used as a wedding song, and this may also trigger memories from other participants. This exploring is relevant to the program in evoking memories through music. Our second element is socialising. Music in the 50s and 60s was a social event. It was a time to be together and share. Events such as dancing and singing as a family or with friends at family events, listening to the favourite radio show or music together as a family, like we do when watching TV, attending dance halls with live music and friends, driving in the car with friends are always all ways that we share our music experiences. The BETA program uses both verbal, so talking about our music experiences, and non-verbal, sitting as a group in a circle, communication as a socialisation tool to get the most out of the music and movement program. This form of socialisation is very relevant to the program and needs to be used by the instructor with lots of eye contact while scanning the room, smiling, mouthing of lyrics and mimicking movements. These are positive cues that we're having fun and feeling good together. Some movements that can be made social would be to tap neighbour's bucket or turn and tap your neighbour's sticks. This always brings a smile and a laugh. Throw the scarf to your neighbour or instructor as they move around the room or brush your neighbour with a scarf. As a whole group movement, tap both neighbour's sticks to make a large circle. This activity, activity will bring participants' eyes up, looking at others and hopefully a shared smile. Both of these nonverbal and verbal social techniques also help participants feel like part of the group through reassurance that they are doing a great job. Our third element is conversation. The flow on from choosing music which evokes memories and being in a social setting allows for connection through conversation. Understandably, not everyone will want to be involved or able to be involved in this discussion. 
However, remaining in the room and listening will hopefully evoke a nod and a smile. When running a music and movement session, choose several songs from your playlist to ask questions about. For example, before the song starts, ask if anyone knows a song with the word walking in it. Allow two or three answers, and if it hasn't been answered, give the answer and start straight away with the song. If someone guesses it correctly, walking my baby back home, give them a well done and start the song. When the song finishes, comment on how many people were singing along and ask pointed questions such as, who danced to that when they were younger? You will probably get simple answers, which is good to keep the session going. However, at the end of the whole session, try to dig a little deeper and open up the conversation based on the information you gathered in the memory chapter with questions such as, who did you go dancing with? What did you like to wear when you went dancing? Where did you go dancing? Group sharing can lead to a variety of conversations, which when led with good questions can be beneficial for everyone. Be sure to open up the discussion to the whole group, as not everyone will be able to have an answer to all these questions. Try not to be too pointed in asking one particular person unless you know they can respond. Be sure to generalise the questions to the whole group and make eye contact around the room to gauge the participants' desire to talk or listen. Lastly, familiarity. Music which is personal to the participant encourages memories, socialisation and conversation. Using familiar music coupled with the above three elements engages the participant holistically. Familiar music triggers memories of lyrics with cognitive outcomes. It allows us to share memories with others for social outcomes. It is motivating which leads to great physical outcomes. And there is a personal connection which triggers emotional outcomes. When coming up with movements for a song, think about movements that would be familiar and not too tricky. Swimming, all different styles. Reaching in all directions are great to encourage a full range of movement. Using words such as left and right may be tricky to remember. So use phrases like one hand and now the other. Many programs use music from any era to move to, which ultimately focus on physical engagement and makes it an exercise program to upbeat music. In order to achieve the four above elements and therefore the cognitive, social, physical and emotional outcomes, the music we use at Beat It must have relevance to the ear of the participants and to the individual participant. Our program is based around the understanding that the music has some personal connection to the participant and at the least it should be a song that is familiar to them based on their era. Thanks for watching this short course on the four elements we use at Beat It to engage with residents in aged care. I hope it gives you some good ideas for starting a music program or enhancing your existing pro music program. This is just a taste of what is in the complete course. Head over to beatitmm.thinkific.com and sign up to Engagement Through Music and Movement, where we explore in depth the tools and instruments we use, how to use the structure of the music to guide your movements and the adaptations we use for different abilities. This course will also give you full access to all the videos I have made on YouTube right into your inbox. Thanks again for watching.